What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm just showing you guys Air Jordan 12, Brilliant Orange. This came out almost two weeks ago on the sneakers app and I was only able to get a size nine. I would have went up half a size, but this was the only thing they had close to my size that was available. And I like these a lot because they do remind me of Shattered Backboard colorway. But this is the box right here and this shoe is representing the women's all-star game and they get a special box at the top there we see the jump man in that brilliant orange and we see some stars around it which is really nice once again i did go with a size nine on these these do come in women's sizes we don't get a suggested retail on the box just over retail and today i don't know about to post this video they're going for about 300 bucks so people are starting to catch on that this shoe right here is mimicking the shattered backboard and they're going for about 300 bucks right now. We're sitting on the sneakers app until about 4.44 p.m. That's the time that I got my confirmation and my got them. The dope colorway and has some good materials in my opinion. Open up the top of the box here. No stamp or anything on the inside of the box. On the tissue paper here, it has the stars like you see on the top of the box. All right, which has like a translucent look to it. And we also see some jump mans on there. Taking out this shoe right here, really dope. All right, boom, here it goes. This was kind of slept on on the sneakers app. I just went in there late, copped immediately, got the got them. Show you guys both sides right here. Really nice. The materials on these are really, really good, as you guys can see. One of the more comfortable Air Jordan shoes on the market. All right, nothing else on the inside of the box, no sticker or anything like that. But let's start off with the shoes, guys. Now, on the bottom of the shoe here comes in that brilliant orange and black. And you can see some swirls on both the top and the bottom of the traction pad. We do get some carbon fiber in the middle right there, which is in black and gray. And we see the 23 and the Jumpman down there as well. Pretty dope in my opinion. Looking at the midsole right here, it comes in an orange rubber midsole on both the outside and the inside of the shoe. Coming up towards the base of the shoe here on the top half, we get this tumbled leather all the way around the shoe. And if you guys see those lines through the tumbled leather, that does come from the Japanese flag, the rising sun. All right, show you guys that. If you guys did not know that information, now you know. Looking at the bottom portion of the outside of the shoe right here, it says Jumpman on both outsides of the shoe. Orange leather look to it. Kind of reminds me of a basketball, those orange circles and dots on it. Really nice. So you guys can see the texture on these shoes and you feel it, you can really feel the material. Okay, what do you guys think about these? A copper drop for you guys. I know this shoe does not have a lot of hype behind it, but if you guys missed out on the shattered backboards or just like black and orange, this is definitely gonna be the shoe for you because these do pop on feet. So make sure you guys stay throughout the whole video for the sizing tips and the on foot because these really look nice on feet. We do get some black tips on the outside and the inside of the shoe showing the jump man in black. Looking at the inside of the shoe, same thing on this shoe. I don't really see too many stitching errors or details on this shoe, you know what I mean? I'm not sure the quantity on these shoes, but normally when shoes aren't that hyped up or for some reason for shoes, they don't feel like they have to put enough effort into, that's the best quality that we get on the shoes that we don't really want, if you know what I mean. Even though this is a shoe that I think is really, really nice and it doesn't have a lot of hype, if you know what I'm saying? So shoes that we don't really want and that's hyped up that they have to make a lot of pairs of, you don't normally have the issues and shoes like these normally have the best quality, you know, things like that on just Air Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 1 mids, you know, shoes like that. I do see a little bit of glue stains towards the front of my shoe on the inside of the shoe. Nothing too crazy though. You can only see this up close and personal. If you're walking past somebody, they won't notice nine times out of 10. But on the inside of the shoe, this is what it looks like really, really nice. All right, we don't get that jump man stamping on the inside either. Looking at the toe box here, it's like a split of majority of a black and we get the orange on the outside and a little bit on the inside towards the inner toe. Okay, these will crease up on you. Make sure you guys wear some wearable shoe trees in your shoes. I have a code of Y Davis if you guys wanna wear some crease crease protection in your shoes. I think they're sold out at the moment, but you guys can use my code when they do restock. I think the mini version is available though if you guys have a size seven or smaller foot. So make sure you guys use that code and support the channel. Looking at the mud guard here, we see the jump mid raising up from the bottom of the shoe. A little bit more of those glue stains. And then we see the orange midsole creeping up in orange. We only do get one pair of laces on these and they come with the black laces. On the actual tongue of the shoe, it comes in this nice leather and black and it says 2-3, okay, in orange stitching. And at the top, we get the Jumpman in that orange. On the outside of the tongue, it does have like a mesh black on both the outside and the inside. All right, looking at the inside of the tongue, this tells us the sizing and everything like that. And the production dates on this was 01, 04, 23 to 04, 08, 23. Give you guys a quick look at what I'm talking about. The sock lining of the shoe does come in black and we do get mismatched insoles on these. We do get some tissue inserts as well. All right, on the right shoe, it does come in a white insole. And on the left shoe, it comes in a black and it mimics the top of the box. But on the right shoe, we get the white version. And on the black, we get the black version. 
This is the good insole. This is how you know when it's a good dream cell insole. These feel really nice on feet. Like I said earlier, this is one of the more comfortable Air Jordans on the Air Jordan line. Underneath the actual insole, it is white with some white stitching. Looks like we got like some marker stains in there. I'm not really sure what it says though. On the back of the shoes here, we get the Jumpman and you already know what it says. Jordan quality inspired by the greatest player ever. All right, and that's in orange stitching and black. Underneath that, we see the 23. And that's gonna pretty much do it for this shoe, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys my footers in the toe box right now. Okay, guys, so that's what they look like on feet. Pretty clean, in my opinion. Now I am a true size nine. I'm gonna be getting nine and a half in all my shoes. Air Jordan 12s do run kind of big. I was only able to go true to size on these. This is a 10.5 in women's, which is a nine in men's. And they feel really nice on feet. I will say Air Jordan 12s are one of the more comfortable Air Jordans on the market. And with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right here. So I'm looking around, but if you guys cannot tell, my big toe is right here. So I have a little bit of space in the front of the toe box. I do feel a little bit of snugness though on the outside and on the inside of my foot. Over time, that probably will break in. But if you want a better wearing experience, go up half a size in my opinion. I do like to wear my shoes unlaced. I don't have any slippage on these. And these do have the Dream Cell insoles and these are very comfortable on feet. With that being said though, they are a really nice shoe. It really reminds me once again of the Shattered Backboards. And I'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Okay guys, so if you guys like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.